All right, it's the news of the summer. EA Sports College Football 25 is here, and it launches July 19th. We have the trailer. We've had graphics and traditions teasers. And now tomorrow, EA Sports is releasing a YouTube premiere with a gameplay deep dive. This will be the first time you get to see gameplay footage. Our friend Bud Elliott of the Cover 3 podcast joins us now. He was at EA headquarters in Orlando for a preview of College Football 25. So, Bud, you got to play the game and see some of its features. Uh, can you share with us the, that experience? I, I did. Yeah, Grace, good to, good to see you. Uh, it'll be everybody else's first time playing, not mine. That, that, <laughs> that was actually really cool uh, to do down there in Orlando. So, as, as somebody, I'm not a big gamer outside of sports games, and, and I am someone who kept playing NCAA 14, you know, the last version of the game uh, before they had to stop making it due to the lawsuits. Uh, the things I think you'll notice right off the bat, you know, the gameplay is much more smooth. That They've had 10 years to work on this, and it's not just like some Madden version, right? They pulled guys off of the, the team that had been still developing this, you know, kind of behind the scenes for a long time. The guys who make this game are really, really nerdy about college football. Like, they... Think about the stuff that I think those of us who work in college football would think to put in, right? They know exactly the formation of all the cheerleaders and the band members as your team runs out of the tunnel, right? So if you're going through, through the T in Tennessee, they know what direction they turn, okay? Like they know what song is played when and why. And maybe like your team only plays a certain song against a certain opponent or maybe a certain version of that song. They, they went to Vancouver uh, during COVID to, to kind of, I think, get around some restrictions, and they built literally a hill to do motion capture for Clemson. They built a horse to do motion capture for Florida State's Renegade, you know, the, the, the horse that Osceola rides out there on. It, their, their mantra was every team is somebody's favorite team, and they want to make sure that every person playing it has a unique experience playing with their team. I love that you said it was you know, nerdy guys building this game because I read each of the 134 schools in the game – has its own unique playbook rather than just generic plays and styles that could apply to any school. I'm not a gamer myself either, bud. I know, huge surprise. Uh, but that actually piqued my interest a little bit. But what I want to ask you next is a lot of fans of the game on Twitter were a little bit disappointed that Road to Glory will not feature your created player starting in high school, moving through the recruitment, getting NIL, NIL deals, etc. What have you heard from EA about why it left those pieces out? So when I was playing the game, you know, the, the last version, the NCAA 14, I was not a big Road to, Go Road to Glory player. So I didn't ask a lot of questions about Road to Glory. It just seemed kind of like a, an afterthought because everybody I played with played Dynasty, right? Like we would play with our friends in online Dynasty. Like that. that's just, a, I thought, a better version of the side game to play. I, I, I think people will be mostly happy with Road to Glory like, I mean, I'm not pitching for them. I'm not on the payroll with EA, but the high school season is just one year. And there actually is an NIL component. They just can't call it NIL. Remember that when this game was being developed, a lot of it had to be made before we had the Tennessee-West Virginia case, which invalidated some of the restrictions on NIL. You also had to get all the schools to sign up. And while you and I know, because we work in the sport, we cover the sport every day, that most of these guys actually are on just basically like pay for play payroll from collectives. The schools still don't want to actually admit that. Like they're still fighting to say these guys are not employees. So if you want to get the schools to actually sign off on you making a college ball video game, it's probably best that we don't just be like, hey, here's this player's NIL salary to come play for us and you can come play for me if I give you 30,000 more. But there is a catch. And the catch is your brand exposure value. Get it? Brand <laughs> exposure, because that's what NIL really is about. And trust me, that does factor into Road to Glory and the Dynasty. You got to allocate your brand exposure points, and then you know, like maybe in future years we'll have a little more just kind of nakedly NIL uh, aspect. But there is a little NIL in there, and I'm sorry I didn't ask as many questions about Road to Glory. I, I mean, I did not think that they would get blowback on not being able to play high school year in Road to Glory. Um, one thing fans are still skeptical about, though, and you kind of mentioned this, is it being a Madden reskin? What differences do you see? So it's not just a bunch of guys they pulled off the Madden team to make a college game. I, I think that that's important. The game is definitely crazier. 
Because let's face it, like part of the zaniness and the craziness of college football is the great plays, but it's also the mistakes these guys make, right? Like think about back in 2013 when Auburn beat Alabama, you know, the, not, not the miracle in Jordan Hare, but like the, the tip pass, or you're not the kick six, but the one where they beat Georgia. Like that's two defensive backs making a terrible play, running into each other and a ball popping up and landing in Ricardo Lewis's hands. So I think the mistakes that players make are, are much greater magnitude. Home field advantage is a much bigger deal in college football than it is in the NFL, and that is reflected in the game as well, as is experience. Everybody in the NFL is a pro player, but the gap between the best college player and the worst college player is much more significant than the gap between the best pro player and the best, you know, or the worst, co- or, sorry, uh, the worst pro player. So I think you'll see like big differences between the best and worst players. How do they handle those environments? How much experience do they have in the system? I mean, you may go up to the line with your hot shot freshman who, who played pretty well at home against Miami, Ohio and some other cupcake, but then he's got to go, go to Neyland Stadium at night. Uh, you hit the route preview button, may not see all the routes there, might have to remember what the routes were. Uh, it's, it's tricky. Uh, I love how realistic this game is sounding, although I have to say, bud, Miami, Ohio is not a cupcake. Don't call my alma mater that. Uh, one more question for you. Are you Red Hawk? <laughs> You knew that. Oh, that team was so good to me betting last year. Oh, my gosh. My, my, I know Ohio and under <laughs> all day. Yeah. Oh, man. And everyone's poaching their players now, but that's a combo for another time. Um, okay, one more question for you, bud. Dynasty mode is one of the more anticipated modes for fans. What can we expect in this game mode? I, I think this was probably, like, the most nerdy uh, thing that they did. They really just tot- – first of all, they put blue chip ratio in there, which is pretty cool. So definitely check that feature out. When you've got to have that high blue chip ratio if you want to win the national title. But they, they really delved into the recruiting aspect quite a bit. There's like what, four rows, maybe like 20 different factors that could matter to a recruit. And so you have to scout them and put that time in to figure out, OK, which factors do they actually care about as recruits? And then you'll find out, you know what? Oh, my school has this. My school doesn't have this. There's also pipeline features, maybe areas that your school or your coach has traditionally done well at. Maybe you can recruit a little better out of those areas, maybe certain states produce different types of players in different amounts at certain positions. And also your coach, he can't be Nick Saban from the jump, okay? You have to either choose a motivator developer track, a recruiter track, or a X and O track, and then you can sort of slowly work to make the other areas better. But it will take a lot longer than it used to, So, uh, which is kind of realistic. Like Most people are not Nick Saban from the word go. All right. Cool stuff from EA Sports, but Elliot... Thanks so much. You can catch him over on the Cover 3 podcast. Summer school is starting. That's always a great program. Uh, go give it a listen. A listen. And for more college football news and coverage, of course, check out 247sports.com. 